so hello everyone so welcome to this new session okay so in the last classes we have uh, discussed with the the few important uh, concepts that those are piot severt's law and expression for curl h in uh, uh, rectangular coordinate system okay so now we are going to uh, start with the one more important concepts concept that is related to the ampere circuital law okay this you might be have studied in the puc or, uh, or the lower classes in your uh, previous classes so this those were related to physics okay so now here we need to be considering in uh, place of electromagnetics okay what would be the statement and what would be the condition for uh, electromagnetic theory or electromagnetic waveforms in order to generate these ampere circuital law uh, to for work in a particular function okay so now let's consider the statement okay of this ampere circuital law that is ampere circuital law states that the line integral of h around any closed path is equal to the direct current enclosed by that path okay so this is the basic statement here and this is the mathematical expression which we get from this statement that is line integral over a closed path h dot dl is equal to i okay so now we are consider a very long very thin straight wire placed along z axis carrying a current i so here we can see that this is a thin wire here okay which is placed along the z axis see i have written the z axis and we are I have placed one wire here along the z axis okay and uh, which is carrying a current i okay so now around that in the center of the z axis make a point and draw few concentric circles okay okay and where the mark the first inner concentric circle its radius as rho okay and the outer concentric circle its magnetic uh, magnetic field intensity is flowing uh, mark it as h phi okay yeah so now the magnetic field intensity at any point in free space is given by ampere's law okay in generally it is given by the ampere's law which is uh, the magnetic field intensity which is placed at any point in free space okay so because of symmetry the magnetic field lines must be concentric circles as shown in the figure see because of the symmetry which we are obtained i have told you right we need to be considering the concentric circles okay so now the expression would be line integral over a closed path h dot dl is equal to since we have considered uh, the uh, radius as rho and the h phi so the expression which we are getting is h phi into rho d phi so whenever we have phi we know that the limits all 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 the limits are common that that is uh, from 0 to 2 pi okay so now what we would be getting is uh, after substituting the limits for a uh, uh, rho we would be getting 2 pi minus 0 that is 2 pi so 2 pi into rho into h phi okay that is equal to h is equal to i divided by 2 pi rho into a phi vector okay this is the expression which we get for h okay where the expression for dl is equal to d rho a rho plus d phi a phi plus d z a z so since you are considering the concentric circles we can uh, say that this dl we can substitute in spherical coordinates okay so that's why h what we would be getting is h is equal to h rho a rho plus h phi a phi and uh, h z a z okay so this is the expression which we are getting for h here in uh, ampere circuital law or h phi is equal to i by 2 pi rho it's one and the same we can even write h phi is equal to or h is equal to okay so now this was all about the ampere's law so now this is very very important concept here that is ampere's law in differential form or point form okay so this question is uh, multiple times repeated and also it's uh, there in the model question paper i guess that is ampere's law in differential form or point form okay yeah so we know that in general h by d h uh, line integral of h dot dl is equal to i which we get uh, got from the uh, ampere's law which we have just seen right now so this relation is useful in circuit theory in field theory we have to relate this quantity that a point in space okay so curl is a point relation so now now consider an incremental area here delta s okay which has four directions and from this midpoint of that the draw and uh, medium or uh, and direction which is denoted as delta i okay and a conducting medium with delta i flowing through the area normal to it okay integrating h around around the peripheral of the area delta h what we, delta s what we will be getting is 
from Ampere's law, we know that line integral of h dot dn is equal to i, which we already know. So now we need to be dividing the area delta s uh, in both the sides, okay, which is enclosed by the path. So for this equation, in both the sides, let's uh, uh, divide the area delta s. So what expression we would be getting here is line integral of h dot dl divided by delta s is equal to delta i by delta s, okay. So now next step what we're doing is taking limit of uh, equation 1 as area delta s tending to 0 then LHS of 1 is called as curl of H while RHS is equal to the current density that is J at a point around which delta S is tending to 0. That is here after taking the limit of 1 that is limit of uh, limit where delta S is tending to 0. Okay. So now what we would be getting here is limit delta S tending to 0 line integral of H dot DL divided by delta S is equal to limit delta S tending to 0 delta I by delta S. Okay. So we know that we just we have uh, derived just now we have uh, derived the expression of uh, curl right curl of h. Uh, so we can see that this term line integral of del h dot dl divided by delta s s is equal to curl of h right. And also delta i by delta s where limit delta s is tending to zero. That's why we would be getting the expression of current density. So that's why we would be getting this relation that is curl of h is equal to j in case of Ampere's uh, law in differential form. Okay. So is there any further derivation? No. So that's all. So please uh, go through this Ampere's law in a differential form. Okay. Please uh, make a note of this and uh, hope you understood this video. If you did not understand, please comment down. We would be trying to obtain uh, your solutions, obtain your clear your doubts. And uh, this is the brief uh, description of the Ampere's uh, law in. Uh, Ampere's law in differential form you can see here okay in this whole page so please uh, take it down and uh, note it down so this is very very important so again please like share subscribe so we have uh, done many more videos related to this subject only you can refer our playlist so this would be appearing in the right of your screen now okay please uh, refer our playlists of all the subjects of this sem of uh, electronics and communication de department so please like share subscribe and share this to a huge number guys so that we would be achieving our goal and also you would be understanding more concepts okay please show the support so that's all thank you